A famed villain said to lure in weary travelers and mutilate them on his torture bed. A young hero on the road to reunite with his father. Since the times of ancient Greece, the story of this villain, Procrustes, and this hero, Theseus, has been passed down by word of mouth and by the writings of classical scholars. But why? What makes this myth so special that it still survives in our culture today? Our team of experts will analyze ancient base paintings and classical writings who attempt to explain the story of Theseus and Procrustes. Today, we learn what we know about this story from three ancient writers. Plutarch, a Greek 1st to 2nd century AD writer, Apollodorus, a 2nd century AD writer, and Diodorus Siculus, a 1st century BC writer. In Greek myth, Theseus was a hero, son of Aethra, and king of Athens who was sometimes regarded as a demigod. Regarding Theseus' lineage, Plutarch and Apollodorus say that Theseus was the son of Aethra and Aegeus. Diodorus Siculus, however, asserts that Theseus is the half-god son of Aethra and Poseidon. Plutarch explains the belief of Theseus being a son of Poseidon as a rumor spread by Aethra and her father, Pythias, to conceal who Theseus' real father was from him. Regardless of who his parents were, Theseus' story goes as follows. Aegeus hid his sword and sandals under a rock near Theseus' hometown of Trozen. Following Aegeus' instructions given to Aethra, Theseus lifted the rock and took the tokens when he came of age. He then traveled by way of land to Athens to meet Aegeus, killing many criminals along the way. Procrustes was one of these criminals that Theseus encountered along the road. He lived at Irenaeus, according to Plutarch, Corydalus in Attica, according to Diodorus Siculus, and simply alongside the road, according to Apollodorus, always trying to make his victims fit his bed perfectly. Here you see Procrustes trapping one of his visitors. In ancient myth, the character known as Procrustes has many name variations. For example, Plutarch calls him Damastes, with his surname being Procrustes. Diodorus Siculus elaborates that the name Procrustes comes from the Greek word procruin, meaning stretcher. And finally, Apollodorus gives him the name Damastes as well as Polypemon. Procrustes was famous for his cruel torture of travelers. Luring in the weary with the offer of hospitality, he would tie his victims down to his bed. The earliest source telling of Procrustes, Diodorus Siculus' Library of History, describes his methods. He writes that Procrustes used one bed, stretching the legs of those who were too short to fit the bed, and cutting off the protruding parts of those who were too tall. However, the story changed as time progressed, for a few centuries later, Apollodorus wrote that Procrustes used two beds, a long one for the short travelers and a short one for taller people. Instead of stretching out the short ones, he would hammer them out as if he were working with metal. Like before though, he would saw off the protruding parts of the tall people. Theseus and Procrustes finally meet while Theseus is on the road to Athens to meet his father, Aegeus. According to Plutarch, Theseus threw Procrustes onto his own bed. Theseus then proceeded to kill Procrustes in the same way all of his victims perished. Plutarch writes that Theseus does so in imitation of Heracles, who often killed villains in the same way they killed their victims. Here you see an early depiction of Theseus killing Procrustes on a Greek bell crater from around 470 BC. As you can see, Theseus on the left is pushing the begging Procrustes down onto a bed. Theseus is holding the axe in hand, ready to start chopping at Procrustes. Later depictions only become more detailed. For example, this Greek Kylix, found in Attica from around 420 BC, shows Theseus with his signature sword and sandals, with the axe raised above his head, ready to kill Procrustes. Another Kylix from around 440 to 430 BC shows nearly the same thing. The cup has sectioned with all the labors of Theseus on them. It shows Procrustes begging Theseus with his signature sword and axe raised overhead to spare his life. We have looked at Theseus, the mythical hero and slayer of Procrustes. We have examined the methods of Procrustes, and lastly, seen how Theseus killed him. Delving into ancient Greek mythology for a deeper understanding of our past, this has been Ancient Myths. <laughs>